guys hey how you guys are doing it's been a hot minute ain't it it's been a hot minute hot pockets <clears throat> so it's been a hot minute since i've been up in this piece how you guys are doing is you guys are doing tell me you're doing so um i got up to 263.7 and i got tired of my shit and I started um, Phentermine, and it made me sick. Like, not just a little sick, like, made me sick. Um, I thought I was going to have a heart attack, so I couldn't take it. So I was like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get this weight off. Like, I'm terrified. Um, I'm just going to see 300 pounds any time now. Like, like, I just kept expecting it to go up and up and up. So I changed my whole eating habit. Now, I think most of you know that I go to the gym five days a week and I do spin class by myself on the weekends here at the house. Um, and plus, I do a lot of cleaning and, you know, stuff like that adds to it, whatever. I burn about 3,000 calories a day. Um, I eat probably four or 5,000 calories a day if I don't watch it. Like, I eat high-fat, high-protein food. Well, fat has a lot of calories. And when you eat keto, like, a lot of times people don't count calories at all because you're eating a shit ton of calories, supposedly burning your fat. Um, <clears throat> so they won't count it. Well, um, so I went back keto. So uh, the most carbs I'm allowing myself is 40 net carbs. That means that I can subtract fiber. Um, and then I've been having my click shakes again. Matter of fact, I have one right now. Um, and my stomach is burning. Like, do you guys remember what it is to have a, like, a regular stomach? Like, remember that burning sensation, that weird sensation that you were hungry, that it was time to eat? Well, I have that all the time. All the time, my body is telling me it is ravenous. So anyway, anyhow, anywho, um, I couldn't take the phenamine. I had to change the way I eat. Um, the gym is doing the same. Going swimming three days a week um, has really helped. And I've dropped 15.3 pounds in three weeks. So, I'm super excited about that. Like, I'm really, 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 really excited about that. I just, I have to keep myself on task. Like, I have to keep myself from eating. Like, because when I go to the store, I don't want to pick up, you know, yogurt. Like, I don't want to pick up more, more milk and, you know, stuff like that. Like, I don't want to pick that stuff up. Like, I want to pick up gummy bears and candy corn and you know Reese's and all the candy that's out right now like they have all kinds of like Reese's ghosts and you know pumpkins and all the stuff that I'm like I don't mind if I do but I do mind if I do because I'm able to gain weight and I'm able to gain weight at an increasingly alarming way so 15 pounds in three weeks I guarantee you 10 of that was water and the last five has been actual fat. So I'm a little, I know it's going to be hard. I know that, you know, it's something that I've got to do. I've got to continue to lose weight. I want to get down to my goal weight again, um, which was 230. And I want to be able to maintain that. So I have to eat better. So I'm eating, um, like this teriyaki chicken that I buy from Sam's Club. It's teriyaki chicken with pineapple. Um, I'm eating salami and cheese. Um, Dubliner cheese, which I buy from Sam's Club. I'm eating rotisserie chicken. I'm eating um, Triscuits, but I only allow myself six at a time because that's a serving. Even though I could eat like 50 of those, but I do the roasted garlic ones because that's what I like. I'm eating... Um, these beef sticks they're kind of like um they're not a slim jim 
like they're not greasy or anything like that you can find them at walmart they're they have pork and beef they have just plain beef they have teriyaki cracked black pepper places uh, stuff like that but we went to a place called fleet farm and <clears throat> they had a deal on them and i bought like six packs of those so i have those to eat um let's see i have just i'm just eating pretty much just meat and cheese and like i the only carbs i really allow myself are the milk from the click shake the yogurt that i give myself after the gym the um triscuits and then the frosted mini wheats so i have to really portion size those out to get my macros per day and that really sucks because you get so little of them because of the amount like of carbs that they have but that's what i've chosen that's what i want that's that's what i'm willing to give up in order to get back down to what i was um i'm fitting back into my you know like stretchier large clothes which i was starting to like getting a little tight in my extra large clothes so i was starting to flip out a little bit so i'm back down in a large <coughs> Excuse me. And um, when I hit when uh, when I hit two thirty, like I'm usually like back into like a large to mediums. So I'm looking forward to getting back into my smaller clothes. It just it's cold here. I don't feel good. Um, like I want to just self soothe because I'm lonely and I'm I'm just I'm really lonely. Um, like, it sucks. It sucks because I have very little human interaction. And what little bit I do have is, is not a whole lot of time. And I miss my wife. I miss my wife very, very much. I'm not going to cry. Because I do enough of that already. My nose. That's dead skin. Guys, there's nothing I could do about it. Like, I'm sorry. Um, I'm just, I'm lonely and I'm exhausted mentally because of the fact that I'm just, I'm tired of being here by myself. Um. If you're on my Facebook and Instagram, you see my posts every day of me and my new, well, it's not a new swimsuit. Two years ago, my, Janet bought me a swimsuit that's a large that came from China. Um, it's got, like, retro cherries on it, and, like, I could fit in that again. Um, so, I've been wearing that because the other one was getting too big. Uh, excuse me. And that one was a 12. So... Um, my voice sounds rough, but I'm fine. I'm not, I'm not, like, I don't have a cold or anything like that. Um, I'm pretty much staying on base. Um, right now, COVID here is really bad. Like, really, 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 really bad. Um, because people just refuse to stay home. They refuse to not gather. They refuse to wear a mask they refuse to stay away from each other they just refuse and the governor here is an absolute idiot like just this is the stupidest person like other than he who shall not be named on my channel um by the way vote that shit vote that shit out vote you gotta vote i don't care you gotta vote you need to vote voting is so important vote please god vote do, do do us all a humongous favor and vote him out. Vote him out. Bye-bye. Um, so my ballot is here. Um, I filled it out, and I'm going to drop it off. Um, either I'm going to see if I can't get to a ballot box tomorrow. Um, if Astrid can't take me to a ballot box, then I'm going to just drop it off at, uh, at the mail, like the, the actual post office, so I can make sure that it gets there. Um, look at that white, I got, look at all those white hairs.
I'm getting old. That's okay. Wow. Didn't realize how many white hairs I have. Holy moly. Okay, whatever. Don't look. Don't look at me. Um, anyway. Anyhow. Anywho. So, if nobody told you today that no matter how much you weigh, you are worth it. And that you are beautiful. And that you are enough. And that you are loved. Please allow me to do so. You are beautiful. You are gorgeous. You are enough. You are worthy. It doesn't matter how much you weigh. It doesn't matter at all how much you weigh. You are so gorgeous. You are beautiful. Just the way you are. And I love you. So you don't have to change one tiny bit for me to love you. I love you just the way you are. Um, if nobody told you today that you are unique and it's okay not to be okay. And it's okay if you've not done anything else today except for just exist. Just breathing is all you've been able to manage. I am proud of you. I'm proud of you for just doing that. I don't care what you've been able to do. I'm proud of you and it is okay not to be okay. It is okay to cry. It is okay to, to wail and gnash your teeth. It is okay to be not okay. So I want you guys to know that if you don't know it, you would be missed and you are needed right here. I would miss you and I need you here. I love your beautiful, gorgeous, amazing faces. Thank you for spending time with me. Thank you for just coming on here just for a few minutes. I appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys very, very, very soon. Mwah. Bye.